Okay, a little demonstration of the latest intercom interface adapter. This adapter enables a person to listen to a cell phone or a ham radio through a Peltor FMT120 intercom through your transit headsets or your helmet. What this box is, it has three modes. It has a phone mode, an off, and a radio. The off is very basic. No inputs or outputs from the FMT. Um, you're not going to be affected by anything going on on the radio or the um, on the network off their ham radio. You won't hear it. It's business as normal. Uh, driver and co-driver can talk just like if it was unplugged. When you do want to, listen, uh, to talk on a cell phone or listen to music on a transit, all you have to do is switch it to phone mode. You can listen to music like I mentioned, make and receive phone calls. Both the driver and co-driver are able to hear and talk to the cell uh, cell phone so whoever you're calling they can hear both parties in the car at the same time. Uh, when you don't need want the distraction anymore you can turn it to off or if you want to talk to your service crew or listen to what's going on in the net in the rally net you can turn it to radio. Now the radio takes the input from your ham um, and just like anything else you need, uh, any other ham system you have to push to talk to transmit. Um, again this is all through your Peltor FMT120, no need to take off your transit headset or your helmets. Uh, by a turn of a knob, you have full communication with your crew. Connections are very easy. The uh, Peltor FMT120 takes a 5 pin mini XLR that just plugs into the side of the unit itself. The cell phone, this is a 4 pin 3.5 millimeter. Jack. It's kind of the standard nowadays for cell phones, Blackberries, iPhones, um, HTC droids, etc. If they take this uh, plug, it'll work. Uh, and the ham side of it, um, pretty straightforward. It's a mono 3.5 plug for the audio out of the ham. And the, the connection plug where the microphone is specific to the um, type of ham. Example, an ICOM and a Yesu they use similar connectors but there's different wiring, a um, little bit different connectors actually as well, but they're model specific. So if I know what model of radio you're going into, you can easily make a cable for it. Of course these cables can be any length that you like uh, for whatever suits your vehicle. Uh, the box can be mounted however you feel and strap it to a roll bar you know, up against the tunnel, the transmission, close to the radio, far from the radio, however you feel feel fit. Um, the radios for standard cable lengths I've been making is 10 feet cable to go between the interface itself and the Peltor intercom. The ham is a little bit shorter, uh, four feet for both connections to the ham radio and about four feet for the cell phone connection. Um, because this is going to be close to where your, your ham radio is anyway, so you can control your ham. One thing I failed to mention on my previous section of the video was this also has an external connection, you see in the back, for a remote push to talk button. I just taped it onto the one cord for now. But all it is is a two conductor connector. You just wire any two wires to this, plug it into the back of the, the interface itself. Um, you can wire a momentary switch to a steering wheel, onto the dash, uh, someplace that's more convenient if you need something um, and you don't want to have it off the box. Now this push the talk remote and the front panel button are both active at the same time. There's no need to worry about having one and not the other. Uh, both will be active. Okay, connection wise for this unit, pretty straightforward. We're going to take the mini XLR plug and we're going to put it into the FMT120. So that's plugged into that. We have our ham radio connections. So you just unplug your microphone and you plug in the interface to your ham radio. Your audio out is plug on the back of your radio again. If I can find it. There it is. So now the audio out is going to the interface.
Okay, so now everything's going through the interface. Now we also have our phone. We'll hook our phone up. Okay, so I have my helmet here beside me, but in radio mode, you can see when I push the push to talk button, it'll try it'll transmit. So on the rally network that we use around here, now we're, we're you can see here we're transmitting a, a message. And if you're listening to the inside of my helmet, you'd actually hear the repeater beeping back at me. When you're on off, the transmit button does not transmit at all. So no accidental press on uh, the push to talk button it will do nothing. So you're not going to be hijacking the network by any stretch of the imagination. In phone mode, I don't know if you could hear my phone just click in. You can play music, for example. Put it inside my helmet. And I'll put it onto radio. So as you can see, it's in off mode. There is no sound coming out of the helmet at all. Now in radio mode, All right, so that's the basic overview of the unit. If you have any questions or comments, please get a hold of me at zerodegreesc.ca is my website. From there, you can find a contact me link, uh, z-e-r-o-d-e-g-r-e-e-c.ca. Any other kind of custom built applications, please let me know. I'm more than happy to try to make a solution that'll fit your needs.